Hello. We have a new album coming out soon. It's out on the street October 27th. It's been a long time waiting for us in the band and also for you guys, I think. It's been almost five, six years. Five, six years since um, our last release, The Bottom Deep, in 2011. The road to get where we are today with a finished product has been really long and um, we decided that we are going to make you a few videos where I explain a little bit about what we have been up to, what we have done, the process of making this and um, why it took us so long and, um, and uh, show you a little bit inside to what it's all about. Maybe I do a uh, track by track, tell you about the songs, play some of it for you in between and um, and uh, probably going to chop it up because it will be too long and boring I guess. So let's get started. Um, we released the last album, The Bottom Deep, back in 2011 and um, after that we did a pretty cool tour together with Rage and um, across Europe and um, we soon after that we um, was already into the process of making new songs and um, in 2012 2013 uh, we are was pretty much all the sketch for the new album was ready um, but then I dropped the bomb and and told the guys that I was going to have another child so we decided that we there is no point in releasing a new album now so we are going to put it a little bit on the hole in that period when I was kind of <laughs> doing my family time and uh, chilling stuff. In this place of shallow laughter, in this place of desperate cries, a twisting infernal wounds, blinding fashion to the afterlife. I had this idea that I wanted to scrap all these songs that we had done because now I had time to do some things that had been bugging me for a while because I had some old old ideas, old songs from way back that I felt that I never had given the attention that they needed and now I had I felt I had the time to to go back and revisit these ideas and do it properly because I, I felt that they deserved that and and um, it had kind of been bugging me. I, I need to get this done, I need to do it properly. So I told the, guy, the other guys the idea that I had about scrapping all the, the new songs, new ideas, trash it. Well, we didn't trash it because we still have those ideas and they are just waiting for, for <laughs> later. But um, I told uh, the other guys about this and it was kind of Eric it was okay because he was originally playing on the old demos and stuff because some of these songs or ideas had already been in one way or another demoed uh, in a bad way because we recorded it ourselves on a 16 track recording tape recording and we didn't know anything about recording back then so it sounded like that as well but I always felt that the ideas that was 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 on that ma material was really good, and I wanted to to get it done the way it should have been done back in 2001 or 1990. But it it's from that area of, t of period of time, and um, Eric was uh, really happy because he enjoyed the stuff as well. And Toatle was a little bit mm, hesitant because. Uh, back then we had a, a different drummer and me and Eric was playing and the, the songs that we had back then was actually it's the same band that we are actually 
doing today, but it's we have evolved and we changed the name in the in the time and and but it's basically the same band that we are today, but with a different drummer. Because when Toratle joined joined me and Eric, we decided to to change the name and start all over again and like fresh. But I wanted to give some of these songs the justice that they they should have. And Toratle was a little bit nah, I don't know because someone else had played on it on, on some of the IDs earlier but uh, I, I told them that we we need to revisit this we're going to do it from from uh, all over again and you do your stuff on it we have to make it sound like we do today and and rework it and so we did and most of the stuff that is, of course, there's new riffs and ideas and new lyrics and and stuff. But many of the the main guitar riffs and some of the the structures are from back then and uh, re <laughs> brought back to life uh, now in 2017. And I, I think it's amazing because back then I had a different approach to to look at the well how I play guitar and, and song structures and stuff like that and today we are a little bit more mature and and um, and uh, now this these songs I feel that I have given the songs mm -hmm. the justice that they need and we actually have done that one time before because back on waves of visual decay album um, we also used one of those old IDs that ended up on on that album. So one of these songs have been used earlier with, if I could say, with success. So, so I really wanted to do that with some of the other stuff as well. And um, so then, when we did that, we started to work on on this stuff from scratch, rearranged everything, made a pre-production. Uh, here in my own studio and uh, everything was like on track. Now. 